Hey, my name is Emmanuel with Sandstone Care, and today we're going to be talking about hallucinogens and treatment options for hallucinogen addiction. Hallucinogens can lead to a variety of negative health effects, but hallucinogen addiction treatments can help individuals heal and recover. Teens and young adults are especially vulnerable to the negative effects of a hallucinogen use, but are commonly unaware of its risks. Hallucinogens can be highly unpredictable and dangerous, which is why it is important for people to understand their effects and how to help someone who may be facing challenges with substance use or addiction. Sandstone Care provides individualized, age-specific care for teens, young adults, and adults with mental health and substance use disorders. If you want to learn more about how to get connected, I'll share more at the end of this video. Let's jump into it. The NIH defines hallucinogens as a group of drugs that alter a person's awareness of their surroundings, thoughts, and feelings. Hallucinogens can fall under two categories, classic hallucinogens and dissociative drugs. Both types of hallucinogens can cause a person to experience hallucinations, which are sensations or images that seem real, but are not. When a person uses a hallucinogen, they can feel a loss of control and feel disconnected from their body or environment. Some hallucinogens can come from plants, while others are man-made. And many hallucinogens are Schedule 1 under the Controlled Substances Act, meaning they do have a high potential for abuse and are not currently accepted for medical use for treatment in the U.S. It's important for individuals, especially young people, to have an understanding of hallucinogens and their effects. How do people use hallucinogens? Some hallucinogens like ayahuasca, for example, have a history of use for religious purposes and in rituals. Because of this, there are places in the world where it is legal, but only for those specific purposes. More recently, however, teens and young adults have been using hallucinogens for recreational purposes, experiential purposes, or as a way to self-medicate and cope. With that being said, hallucinogens may be used in a variety of different ways. Some come in the form of tablets or pills, while others are liquids. A person may consume them raw, brew them in tea, snort, inject, vaporize, smoke, or even absorb the hallucinogens within the lining of their mouth. Hallucinogens can also vary in their appearance. For example, MDMA and ecstasy can come in saturated paper or blotter paper and is commonly imprinted with colorful designs that make them attractive to young people. Now, what drugs fall under the category of hallucinogens? Common classic hallucinogens can include the following. LSD, which is a highly powerful mind-altering chemical, peyote or mescaline, which is a small spineless cactus, psilocybin, which comes from certain types of mushrooms and DMT. Now, DMT is a powerful chemical found naturally in some Amazonian plants. Ayahuasca is a tea that comes from these same plants and is commonly used for its psychedelic properties. Next is common dissociative drugs, which can include the following. PCP, which commonly comes in liquid or powder form, Ketamine, which is also known as the date rape drug DXM, which is an ingredient found in some over-the-counter cough and cold medicines. And salvia, which is a plant that is usually ingested by chewing fresh leaves or by drinking their juices. You may have also heard of mushrooms or shrooms. Some kinds of mushrooms contain psilocybin and psilocin, which are substances that cause hallucinations. Psilocybin is a hallucinogenic that is obtained from certain types of fresh or dried mushrooms. Shrooms can cause hallucinations and can make it difficult for an individual to determine what is real and what is not. And if a person consumes too large of a dose of psilocybin, it can become very dangerous and cause them to experience panic and psychotic-like episodes. The effects of psilocybin can be similar to the effects of other hallucinogens like mescaline or peyote. Taking hallucinogenic mushrooms can cause effects that may include the following. Nausea and vomiting, increased heart rate, blood pressure, and body temperature, drowsiness, lack of coordination, and lastly, hallucinations. Many people are unaware of the effects and risks of using hallucinogenic drugs. These risks can include overdose, poisoning, engaging in harmful activities, tolerance, and addiction. Additionally, some of the short-term side effects of hallucinogen addiction can include an increased heart rate, lack of coordination, panic, paranoia, and psychosis. And at the same time, some of the long-term effects can involve speech problems, memory problems, anxiety, and depression. And lastly, a person is also at the risk of developing hallucinogen persisting perception disorder, which involves recurrences of drug experiences like flashbacks of hallucinations and visual disturbances that can last for days, months, or even years after using hallucinogens. Understanding the risks of using hallucinogenic drugs can help young people prevent 
hallucinogen abuse, and addiction. If you or a loved one are facing challenges with hallucinogen use, it's important to seek help. Hopefully this video helped you learn a lot more about what hallucinogens are. If you are currently struggling and are looking for treatment options, you can contact a live Sandstone Care member at sandstonecare.com. Talking with the Sandstone Care member will help to connect you with the right resource, even if it's not with us. Change is possible and Sandstone Care is here to help.